a three-time Sunshine Tour champion, looks in the form and in the mood to make it four. More than three years since the previous success. Louis de Jacher came close in Mauritius last season and even closer at Sun City. Progress is good. I've really working on all the aspects of my game and I've been working quite hard with my long game coach and my short game coach. And um, you know, my putting has really come to the party and then at the same time, you know, you gotta hit the ball well. So I think it's my just overall hard work that's been bringing a bit better results. I mentioned Mauritius. Louis was up with the pace throughout at the tri-sanctioned Afrasia Bank Mauritius Open. Come the third day, he was 13 under par and shared the lead with Arjun Atwal. The final round didn't work out as sweetly, but fourth place meant a biggest payday since the 2013 Shwani Open. Yeah, that uh, meant a lot, you know, that's um, showing yourself that you can be up there, you know, you can compete against those best players in the, in, in the world, you know, in Europe. And, um, you know, that's why, you know, that's why we work so hard to be able to play there. But, um, you know, it meant a lot for me, you know, and uh, it's good to move up on the order of merit and get into a few of the perks you get if you finish in the top 10 on the order of merit. So it was, uh, really enjoyed that. It stays the same, it's just you put a bit more pressure on yourself because you know there is more at stake is the reward is much bigger so but um got to try and handle it you know and that's the more you're there the more you tend to be able to handle it better so it's a lot school fees just learning every time i go coming close on a big stage proves to yourself that you still have the ability to win if it all comes together been thinking about it a lot you know and it's definitely been a goal this year to step into the winner's circle again and it was always nice being in contention but being able to pull it through and you know wrap it up it's always it's it's tough it helps a lot and it helps your confidence and helps with these big events as well with the bigger co-sanction events so you know that's definitely been a, it's a goal of mine and i'm um, i'm working on it once a winner always a winner you know if you've won once you know how to win you know so it's just a lot of trust and belief in yourself and, you know, just sticking to your routines and sticking to the things you know, what you have to do. But um, it's tough, you know, because everyone wants to win. It's quite competitive, but, but I think once you've won, then you've know, you know how to win. After a glittering amateur career, pro win number one came at the Suncoast Classic. Two and three came close together in 2014, the Vodacom Origins Wild Coast and the Nedbank Affinity Cup. Yeah, those were two total different scenarios. Like at the Wild Coast, I was leading with five shots, so that was a total different, you know, approach and to the game. You know, and I lost the five shots and had to get it back again. And then the Affinity at Lost City, I didn't know I was in it actually until then. I chipped in on the 17th hole and I birdied the 18th to get into a playoff. So it's a bit easier sometimes if you do not expect or you don't know what's going on. And on the big stage, there's leaderboards all over, so you've got to get used to knowing where you are and we've been able to handle the pressure. The 31-year-old has been handling the pressures of life as a pro since 2008. He reckons the all-round standard of golf has rocketed over those last 10 years. Guys are practicing more afterwards, practicing more before. I see more guys warming up properly, you know, stretching properly. I see more guys working out in the gym. So the standard has lifted and you could see with the scores on the events, it really has improved, you know, and even there's a lot of South Africans playing on the European Tour and there's going to be more and more every year, you know. He's clearly taken note and figured what works best for him, what he needs to do to keep up with the pace and to keep improving. I do my part what I have to do, you know, I think you can always do it, probably do a bit more, but I work on my weaknesses for my golf and I do a bit of fitness and stuff, you know, so it's changed a bit over the time. It was always, used to always just try and make a, get a beach body, but it's now more on the golf specific, you know, so it's more, much more specific on the golf and my body, what's bad in my body to improve that and then just, you know, maintain all the other things. So, you know, I've been focusing on that the last two years and I've really seen an improvement in my ball striking and my distances and stuff so you know, I'm just going to keep on with that plan. He mentioned the number of South Africans gravitating towards playing in Europe is very much an aim of his. He's still a young guy but with a wealth of experience and he feels he has the game to prosper away from home. 
Europe suits my game. I'm saying Europe, you know, but it's just uh, mostly Europe. It's a bit windier and it's a bit colder sometimes. And I've got a quite a strong ball flight, so it's nice for in the wind and stuff. But at the same time, you know, I can hit it a bit high if I want as well. But, you know, I'm a, quite a grinder and um, my chipping and putting is also a big strength of my game. So, you know, Europe, tougher courses, more on the ground and stuff. So, you know, that's what I've, most of my events I've won at amateur and pro, but, you know, my game has been evolving and uh, I'm ready for any tour, actually, I think. Further evidence of that has been seen with his runner-up finish at the Sun City Challenge this month. A second top 10 of a consistent season and things are moving in the right direction. I've got a list of things uh, I wrote down and think about, but so, you know, it's like definitely to win an event and my goal is to get onto the European Tour, you know, my game suits Europe very well. So get onto the European Tour, you know, get into the top 100 in the world, get into a few majors, get into British Open, you know, work your way up to the top 50 and then if you're top 50 in the world, you can play anywhere. So that's the goal, that's the plan, you know, and it's also a long-term goal, you know, it's not, I don't want it next year, I don't want it the year after, you know, it's five, six years, you know, I'm 31 now, so I'm going into the peak of my career. I've still got a lot of time, you know, and I'm quite healthy and I, I'm quite fit and, and strong, you know, so I can, my longevity is going to be quite long. So, you know, I'm seeing a bright future for myself. With good reason, Louis de Yarka determined the best is yet to come.